We got 2019 MacBook Air today. This is a 9032 model which had a liquid damage and it's not turning on. If you look inside, you can see the extent of the liquid damage. It's spilled quite a lot everywhere. Usually people ask us what are the odds of getting it repaired. Until we take it apart, start digging through schematics, we wouldn't really know how far we're gonna take it. But what one thing which we can definitely tell you, longer you wait, harder it becomes for a successful repair and chances for it drops drastically. So if you spill liquid on, on your MacBook, act on it as quick as possible. Do not wait. Don't read what it, what it says on Google that uh, you, you need to leave it to dry overnight because this is what happens. Liquid doesn't dry. The, the minute it dries, it turns into residue and that re residue keep damaging components. And more components it damages, higher chances is that uh, one of those MOSFETs, you can see this is a MOSFET over here, can send a voltage straight into the brain and, and kill the brain. If that happens, nobody can save this MacBook anymore. The worst part is that the SSDs are physically soldered onto the motherboard and we get lots of customers like this one where they already bought themselves a new machine but they need the data and we cannot affordably extract the, the data from these SSDs without bringing the machine to at least a functioning, at least a partially functioning state. If we look at on the microscope, you can see how this blobs over here are uh, residue, liquid residue. So it doesn't matter how long you, you let it dry, this liquid will never get dry from this area. And you can see how seriously it, it's spilled around. So every minute this machine stays with the battery connected, more and more damage it does. So let, let's jump into it, clean that stuff and see where it's short, short circuiting. Right, so let's get the board back and try to fire it up. This trackpad here is absolutely soaked as well, so we'll have to get it out. Yeah, down here we have corrosion on the trackpad, so let's clean that. Okay, trackpad is going back. Okay, there you go, it's firing up. Now we're gonna pull customer's data out and uh, transfer it to external drive. And we will load in into the operating system. Excellent. So we managed to log in. We're gonna use the external drive as a time machine backup so that the customer can transfer all the data immediately to, to the new device they, they bought. And we executed the backup, and that's it. So we're gonna wait for the backup to complete. And, and this is another successfully re recovered data from a liquid damage MacBook, which wasn't turning on when customer brought it in. Thank you guys for watching, and if you need the service, all the information is in the description.